Well, two more cars caught our eye at the Endless Summer Car Show. A pair of superstars from the 1970s. Michael McMullen from Lexington Park, Maryland has every reason to be proud of this stunning 1970 Chevy Impala. Look, we went through a long process. I got out down to Shenville, Virginia, pulled it out of the woods with a tractor, had a whole bunch of roaches and rats in it, you know, just, I mean, it was rusted out. So, I mean, I put a lot of work in it. You look around the car show, you don't see, you don't see this many 1970, it's clean. You see, you see a lot of Chevelles, but you don't see a 1970 in pop. I just want to be a little different. I'm going to go around to the motors. This is my um, 540, uh, big block, the Chevy. I got my MSD, racer mode. It can be down for classic or whatever I want for cruising. I can do whatever I want to. I got Archer skin all through here, all up through here, up through the top. You said that's Archer skin? Yeah, yes, it is. And there is not another set of wheels like these on the entire planet. I kind of came up with the design. They're Forgiato Auto wheels. There's a company out of California that I had made. made they made the wheels up. They Forge Auto. Did you design these wheels? I designed the wheels for the car. Absolutely. Wow. That is Ab just beautiful, absolutely. man. I built it in a, a year time, night and day. So it was a lot of it was a lot of work. A lot of work. Now this local 74 Ford Gran Torino might look familiar to anyone who's seen a 70s cop show. It's a Starskin Hutch clone, 1974. Um, it's got a 429 Cobra jet in it, automatic transmission. So she'll get down the road a little bit. The uh, stripe and the paint codes are what they had on the uh, show originally. It's a 2B red and uh, racing white on the strike. Their call letters were Zebra 3. And of course, my license plate says Zebra 3. Now, in the original Starsky and Hutch, they had a bench seat, and then when they would slide and make a turn, Hutch would end up in Starsky's lap. So they went to the following year, they went from bucket seats so they could stay pretty much the same. Now that's a piece of TV history that a lot of people don't know. That huh? is exactly right. <laughs> Tell you when I do the parade down here on the boardwalk, Everybody is taking pictures of it and snapshotting it and all the people that smile and think of the memories of this car in their younger days, it really brings a, 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 a smile to my face. With so much to see, we wish the Endless Summer Car Show was endless in itself, but we know the cruisers will be back in the spring. We just might have to camp out till next year.